Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I am back with another unboxing for you guys. We are changing up the scenery. You have to stay tuned to the very end of this video and I will flip the camera around so you can see exactly where I am for this. We are like out and about. I am on a Bible journaling retreat this weekend and this kit landed on my doorstep right before that. So I threw it in my bag and we're just gonna do this impromptu. You get to hear nature <laughs> behind me, probably girls coming in and out. We are gonna make this work. I'm soaking up this weekend. So I did want to hop on and share this with you guys though, because this is what I'm going to be working with this weekend while I'm at the retreat. And so I needed to show it to you guys before I start digging in here and <laughs> breaking things apart and using it. So this is the newest release from Open Journey. I will have everything linked down below for you guys. It is available now. I do want to point out my fault. I am so sorry, you guys. There is a subscription service available with Open Journey. Um, I know she took a little bit of a break from the open, from the subscription side, but that is back. But the window has closed for this month's kit. So if you sign up for the subscription, you'll start with next month's kit. So I just want to make sure I'm clear about that. Um, you can head on over to the website and all the information is over at openjourney.faith. Again, all those links will be down below for you guys. Um, but you can also order this without the subscription. But that subscription option is available for those of you that like to just have it, you know, auto for you, paid, sent to you, you are good to go. So um, this is the newest series from Open Journey. And so if you've been with Open Journey for a while, uh, you guys know she is one of the several that I really, really love, but her content is so, so good and in depth. And so she's actually changed um, the format just a little bit. And part of that was response from you guys and some feedback. And, you know, all of us sometimes just have to refresh and change things up, right? Like, I don't, I don't know about you, but I do. I have to change things up periodically. So that is kind of what happened here. You will see some things that are familiar that we've seen before um, with this new release, but then also new format. So this new series. So last, the last few months, she's been doing the beautiful series. I've been doing those unboxings for you guys. I've been doing those as like deconstructed devos in a binder. Um, this is the take four series is what she's calling this. So it is going to be a series of devotionals that kind of piggyback on each other. But if you miss one of them, um, let's say you're watching this a few months down the road and this kit's already gone. I don't think that will be a problem. I think that there will always be digital options for you guys, but um, let's say down the road, you can still jump in and do, you know, a second or third or fourth month and jump right in. So they do all coordinate well with each other, but they are standalone kits. So I'm going to start with the kit because this of course is the meat of the whole release, right? Um, and this is what has some of the biggest changes. So this is the kit right here. It comes in this fun little box. I love this. This made this great for traveling for me this weekend. I just kind of threw everything in the box, threw the box in my bag and I was good to go. So I'm already super, super fan of this new style. And look at this artwork, you guys, this kit is so, so beautiful. So this is the kit. If you order the devotional kit, this is what is in this box here. I know I've got a lot going on. I'm not in my regular space, so we're making do. <laughs> and so it's now in this size booklet form. So this is five by seven, um, still really beautifully printed, fantastic devotional content. But rather than doing those standard um, traveler's notebook size, she's switching up to this five by seven for this series, which I am excited about. I know many of us have been working with traveler's notebooks for many, many years at this point. Um, and I still do love traveler's notebooks. Those will always have a place in my heart, but it is kind of nice to have I don't know, just a different format to take notes on. Um, I actually like the wider format of these. So this is a little booklet. So the first um, one of the series is um, take for the word of God. So this whole kit, this whole release is specifically about the word of God. So you've got beautiful typewriter imagery. And if you guys have done one of Ingrid's studies, you know, she just has so much. The artwork's beautiful. Her devotional content is amazing. Like she just does such a good job. And so, um, I do kind of want to share from here, I guess. So Take Four is a new series of creative Bible study kits focusing on the Word of God, short meditations on the Word of God, which guide us through various issues concerning our spiritual life and our life in the body of Christ. The Take Four series focuses on four to five Bible verses on a certain topic, a verse for each week of the month, to be studied and revisited throughout the week. This can be done any day of the week, although Sundays would be perfect as the fourth biblical commandment is to keep the Sabbath holy. Like even that little detail there, I love that she includes that. Like everything about Ingrid is rooted in scripture. That just is the direction of 
that she, every bit of her life heads. And I love that. She says, there's also four main steps in the process. So this is a card that's included in your devotional kit. And so she walks through kind of her frame for this process that she utilizes in her personal um, Bible journaling. Um, and she's got it here. You've got reading, meditation, prayer or response, and then contemplation. I cannot speak that language, so I will not try to pronounce those words. But again, word studies are something that I learned about through Ingrid, through Open Journey. And so I am really excited to kind of dive into this specific study on the word of God. We're really going to be doing some um, word studies, of course, uh, with this. And so she's got this breakdown, this kind of formula for how she tackles Bible journaling starting by reading the verse, reading the passage, meditating on that, meditating different meditation than like emptying your mind as a new age meditation. That's not the kind of meditation she's talking about here. It's filling your mind with the word of God and, you know, dwelling on that, ruminating on that, thinking upon it. That's what she means by meditation. Your prayer or response. And so that is where she has the actual artwork of Bible journaling or however you like to create um, through these kits that falls in that step three. And then contemplation. Um, and so she shares down here, which I love this because this, uh, this is a testimony of my life and my experience that I've had with Bible journaling, um, is especially this contemplation. So looking over your project, close your eyes, thank God for this quiet moment with him and notice how throughout the day, this verse and session will stay with you. Maybe we'll have more questions or aha moments. What a beautiful process. And I have experienced that personally with Bible journaling. Um, there's just, it's like God really wants you to get it right. <laughs> so when you spend that time, you know, meditating on it and reading it and praying about it. And then it's just, it's in your mind and that it's easier to recall. It's something that you start noticing, um, in your day-to-day -day life, you know, different events or moments that you can, you know, relate back to the word of God. And so I love that she's pointed that out. So this is kind of, uh, you know, her formula. I do think this kit would be really, really good. Or this series is really great. If you're brand new to Bible journaling, if you are just stumbling upon my channel or one of the other many channels that are out there that are fantastic, um, and you're not quite sure where to start, this is going to be a good one for you guys. Um, for those of you who have done open journey, uh, kits before, this is going to be a little bit different. Uh, you guys know, I've talked to several girls, um, recently about the kits and there's some girls, you know, they take years to work through her devotionals. Now they are structured to be month to month. Um, but there's just so much history and knowledge and scripture in her, um, devotionals that you can really draw it out over a long period of time. So she got some feedback that a month wasn't quite enough to do those bigger studies. So she's kind of condensed it down into this format. So there is devotional content just as we've seen from her before. Anything that is referring to scripture, any scripture are going to be bold print. Um, and so this one specifically, we're looking kind of zeroing in on uh, Hebrews 4, 12 through 13 in the statement about the word of God being alive and active. Um, and so that's kind of the theme throughout this specific month. But I mean, the artwork is just beautiful. Now, these pages are not coded. Um, so that is a little bit of a change also. This is uncoded paper, which means it's a little bit easier if you want to be doing mixed media or stamping or writing directly in this booklet. You don't have to worry about what pens you're using. Um, this is just, you know, it's nice quality paper, but it's not coated paper. So you don't have that, you know, shiny look to it. It's a little bit easier if you want to create directly in your booklet. Um, so it's a few pages of devotional content, several scriptures just within that content there. And then she pulls out for four separate lessons for scriptures. So you have Hebrews 4, 12 through 13, and then space space for you to reflect on it, to do your own study, however you want to utilize this. Maybe you want to create directly in here. You definitely can do that. Um, if you're looking to have space just for tons and tons of notes, this is great for that. Um, there's no hand holding here. Um, I'm sure many of us girls on the team will be doing, you know, posts and pages and maybe some videos and things like that. Ideally, I would love to walk through this with you guys week by week and do a lesson alongside this school is out for me. As soon as I get home from this retreat, my calendar is a little more open. So I'm hoping that I can do some videos, but I'm not ready to fully promise and commit that yet. But that's kind of my plan is to hopefully, hopefully take you through one video a week for four weeks. And we'll kind of look at these scriptures. If you do need that additional assistance, if you've never you know done an open-ended study in this way, um, I'm hoping I can give you guys some tools, but um, really it's 
pray, pray before you start. And God is amazing at how he just comes alongside us and, you know, points us directly to what he wants us to pull out of his word. And so this gives you plenty of space to do that. Um, and so you have four different days of scripture to study on. And so you can take this through the entire month, however in-depth that you want. Um, I could see these books being great to like deconstruct and add additional pages in there and pop outs, you know, all those fun kind of uh, junk journal style things you definitely could do with this. Um, and the great thing is it's all, you can just create directly in here. So you don't need to have, you don't even need to have a journaling Bible. If that is not in your budget, or if that's not, if you're not comfortable with that, you know, concept of creating directly in your Bible, this is a great option for you. So I'm really excited about this particular change up. I know with my life personally, I need something that, um, as much as I love her in-depth studies and I plan on revisiting many of them, I am excited to kind of just have some more focused study on four specific scriptures. It is more than four scriptures. I know she says four, but you've got some more here in the front. So that is the booklet. And then in this box, you're going to also get that note card. So this is a note card um, with kind of a brief look at the kit. And again, that kind of formula that she's taking you through. And this is nice cardstock. So if you wanted to, you could go through and fussy cut all fussy cut out all of these bits and pieces and use them in your journaling. That is something I would definitely do. Or maybe you want this as a reminder. So you want to create like a little tip in booklet, something like that. Um, we're going to get some sun and we're just going to enjoy that the sun is setting in beautiful Georgia. <laughs> no studio lights here for you guys today. Um, this is just a note kind of about um, the changes that she's made, the, the kit, the artwork, um, kind of her heart behind her creations. Um, and then you've got, of course, the information about where to find her on social media, the hashtags that we will be using as we work through this series. It will be a series. So for the next few months, each month there will be a kit kind of in the similar style and format um, and they'll kind of piggyback on each other. So there's that. And then you've got a few items to help you journal. Um, and so what you see over here, these are actually add-on items. So another thing that I like about her kids kits in particular is she does give you a few items within the devotional kit um, to create. And that's going to be plenty. Really your focus is going to be on um you know, the note taking and the studying and that kind of thing. Um, but then you can kind of build out your own kit. So I know some people love die cuts. Some people don't, some people love stamping, some people don't. So you get to then add those things in and kind of create your own custom kit based off the add on. So you won't see these inside the kit. It's just what you're seeing in this box. So there are some journaling cards. I did remember to bring out my ruler <laughs> and we are going to be racing the sunshine here. Okay. So that's three by five are these uh, little note cards. And so they've got beautiful artwork. Uh, Ingrid creates all of her own artwork. She is a trained fine artist, um, if you're new to her work. So she has created all of this, um, which is just phenomenal to me. So these would be great to do even as little um, tip-ins or journaling spots if you wanted to create. Like if you needed some extra room in here, you could create a tip-in, um, tuck it into envelopes, do little prayer cards, variety of different ways that you can use um, these. These are an uncoated uh, cardstock material, blank on the back. And you've got this image here. And again, because it's her artwork, it's going to mix and match so well with her past uh, kits that she's done over the years. I just love this typewriter. That is my favorite, favorite image of this whole, whole release. Oh, looks like there's one more there. So you'll see there's some succulents. Um, I know one of her kits is it Living Water from years and years ago, had some succulents in it. So pull out those stamps, pull out any leftover stickers that you have um, and things like that, and then use those with this kit. That is one thing I do love about it being her own artwork is that I save all the leftovers at the end of the kit, and then I'm able to incorporate it into future kits and projects. Uh, she does include a word focus card. She does mention this in the notes that she's included. Um, if you've been around for a while, this is not new to you. You guys know that I did Word Study Wednesdays for a very long time, hoping to bring those back. So if you're looking for some information about how to do a word study or what exactly a word study entails, and especially on how I use these cards and you know specifically, you can find that on my Word Study Wednesday playlist. Um, but essentially, this she gives you a word with the uh, word in the original language, so word in Greek, and then she gives you a series of verses that use that word. And so what I have found is so interesting is seeing maybe some different versions of this word that these verses use, but then understanding the actual root 
meaning of that word really gives you a deeper understanding of the scripture where that word appears. Word. How many times are we going to say word <laughs> for this release? Um, and then this front part can be a canvas. So I like to actually create on here. I do a lot of mixed media, um, play with different products and things like that. And then on the back side is where I'll do my word study. Again, you can find all that in my playlist, how I do um, you know, cross references and Bible commentaries and things like that. And I put that all on the back. So she does include one of these in there for you. Now you can utilize this however you want to, but that's how I specifically use those. And then she has lots of different stickers for you. And one change I did see, which I really appreciate. Thank you, Ingrid, because she probably sees me always fighting on camera. Um, they say whether they're clear stickers or white stickers at the bottom right there for you. So you've got a few sheets, again, all sized to that five by seven size. So everything fits nice and compact and together, which is very convenient for traveling. Um, so these are clear stickers. So these are actually translucent sticker material. You can see through them. So you can place this over um, the text of your Bible and still be able to see the text underneath. Um, just keep in mind that darker images like these, you know, obviously you're not gonna see black text through black images, but things like this, you can put over the text and still be able to read the text through it, which is really, really nice. Um, and this just makes it look like you've painted directly on your page. Um, if you've never worked with clear stickers before, I do want to just point out that they are clear. So anything that's in the background will affect the coloring and the design on this. So if you have a really crazy, wild, busy background and you stick one of these translucent stickers over that, it may not look the way that you think it's going to look because you're going to be able to see everything that's underneath it. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you have something like you've spent, you know, hours and hours on this super awesome, amazing background and you want to use some clear stickers, I'll often actually um, apply these to just some scrap cardstock and then fussy cut them out and then turn them into like an ephemera piece. Um, and then I could use them on those busier backgrounds. But like I said, the nice thing about these clear stickers is that it looks like the image is actually printed on your Bible page. So you've got, you know, some larger images. I love these birds. Now, um, I do believe this is the same. Now, I may be wrong. I may have to come and put a little addendum down in the comments because I didn't have a chance to look at all of the new notes for this release. Um, but typically, when you buy the physical kit, she will give you a discount code to get the digital for 50% off. So that is a unique thing about her shop. She does offer things in physical format and digital format. Perfect for those of you who are overseas, don't want to deal with shipping and all that nonsense. But for this, like, let's say you lo really love, like, I really love this piece right here, really love this piece, and you want more of it. If you purchase the digitals, then you have that for personal use. So then you can print these on whatever medium that you want. You can scale them up, scale them down, you know, collage things together, again, all for personal use. Um, but that's a great option if you want to add in the digitals. So you've got some words in here, which is super nice. So you don't even really need to stamp if you don't want to. You've got words that you can do titles with. I love these are super cool. Um, the word of God alive and active, stay in the word, shift metanoia. I actually think I did an entire, I think I did a word study on repentance and we looked at this idea of shifting, that repentance is a shift of the mindset. See, that was a word study, but now I have that knowledge in my head. <laughs> Thanks to Ingrid. Here's a whole sheet of um, her, you know, hand lettered, uh, phrases and words that you can use for titles. Again, any of these can be used in the booklet as well. And then you've got some florals. You've got that image of, of Jesus there. Love this with that like typewriter. Oh, so, so fun. I'm thinking of all the things in my stash at home that would coordinate so well <laughs> with this kit as if there isn't enough already here. All right, and then there's several sheets of white sticker paper. So these are opaque white sticker paper. So you've got this large image. You can cut it apart into pieces or use it in its entirety. You've got this one here. The word of God is alive and active. The word of God endures forever. Love this. Oh, I really love her mixed media. So again, you can use this just as one full sheet background or go in. Now these are not pre-cut. It's one whole sticker sheet. So you would need to go in and fussy cut if you just want bits and pieces or individual parts of this sheet. I love this. And it is not like slick or coated. Um, so you can run this through your typewriter if you wanted to type out on there or even in your printer. You could, um, you know, if you're really tech savvy, you could align this with a template on your computer, feed it through your printer and then print on here if you wanted to. Love, love, love the typewriter stuff. This is amazing. 
Oh, so, so pretty. I'm just, I'm so glad I stuck this in my bag. I cannot wait to dive in and play with this. I don't usually Bible journal at Bible journaling retreats because I'm usually talking and running my mouth the whole time, but I am going to try to dive in um, this time. So there is a look at everything that comes in the devotional kit. So this is the Take 4 uh, Word of God devotional kit. Now, everything else that you see on here are add-ins that you can purchase to go along um, with your kit. Um, there's things to use for Bible journaling or outside of Bible journaling. So there are some new vinyl stickers. These are water resistant, so you can put these on, you know, mugs, journals, lunch pails, whatever you want. Um, hers are so nice. I have some on a couple of my mugs. I'm naughty. Do as I say, not as I do. I tell you guys not to run it through the dishwasher. I run mine through the dishwasher. I've had them for years and the stickers are still like brand new. So very, very nice quality um, stickers. This one actually does not feel vinyl. This one is a for sure. I can feel the coating. This may be different. So go read the description because <laughs> I'm just now feeling that this feels a little bit different, but this for sure is one of the, the vinyl stickers. All right, so there are some of those. So many things, so many things. There are new postcards. Let's start with these. So again, because she's fine artist, this is all her art. So you can find greeting cards. You can even order prints. So if there is something in here, like let's say you really, really love this image here and you want it blown up, you want to purchase a print of this, reach out to Ingrid um, and she can set that up for you. Uh, definitely, you know, encourage you guys just to support artists, definitely Christian artists. I feel like there's very few of us out there. Um, and so if you want larger prints, contact her and she can set that up for you. But there is a package of postcards. So these are just blank on the back postcards. So if you want to share a little bit of Bible journaling with somebody else or use these in your own Bible journaling. I mean, there's nothing saying that you can't use these um, as journaling cards or something like that. So oh, I wish you guys could be here with me. The, the sun is setting. It's getting nice and cool. The wind is kind of picking up. It feels so, so nice. I'm anxious to get back with my friends. So we are, we're going to try to just plow through this. Okay. So bear with me. Um, there are two new stamp sets. She does hers a little bit different sizing. So this is about five by seven. Oh, so it matches. Look at her. Ingrid's so nifty. Five by seven to go along with the devotional kit size. So you've got this five by seven that has florals. Oh my gosh. I love Ingrid's florals. There have been a few past stamp sets that have florals as well. And so of course you can mix and match those, which is great. These are awesome. And then this one. So this is specifically, you know, to kind of go along with this release. Love the big, bold word. Love the bird. Alive and active. Oh, so, so good. Really, really great. Love her seals that she does. These are fun to um, heat emboss with embossing powders. So there are the two new stamp sets that coordinate with this release. Now, each month she's not going to be releasing this much stuff. I don't know. She might surprise me, but um, typically she does this big release for the first month and then they're a little bit smaller month to month. So if you see something that you like and you think you're going to want to use with the future kits for this series, grab it because it may not be there um, down the road. This is something new that she did. She did post-it notes and these are I actually used one of these for a gift that I gave. So these are three and a half by two. Yep, two by three and a half. They are, they have like a, a post-it, right? Sticky there. So there's this one here, the word of God, the grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of our God endures forever. I love that. Proclaim the word. We've got this one here. I like that they're different orientations. So this one's horizontal and then you have this one here that's vertical, the word of God that sticky strip is on this side here. The little typewriter is typing out the word of God and you may not be able to pick it up on the camera, but there's a very faint cross right there. Such attention to detail. This one, you'll recognize some of this imagery from the beautiful series. So if you're still working through the beautiful series or you really love the artwork of that, this is great for that. I love that burnt torn edge there and they're not coated. So you can stamp on there, write on them this one, I could see like cutting, fussy cutting this out. And then you would have a little bit of that sticky on the edge of here and have like a shaped sticky note. That would be super cool. Or run it through, um, put it on some like wax paper or something and run it through your typewriter and then type out on there or stamp. I mean, just really great for just jotting down quick little notes in your Bible, throw it in your purse, have it there Sunday morning. Uh, I personally use a study Bible on Sunday mornings. I don't use my journaling Bible. Um, and I take a lot of notes in there, but I don't have a lot of space. And so this would be great for adding some additional space in your more traditional Bibles. And then you've got this one here with the distressed crosses. 
So those are awesome. I kind of, I, I saw somebody saying something sold out, but I don't, I don't think they did. I think all of these are still in stock um, over there. Of course that could have changed since the last time <laughs> that I checked the website. I've been off the grid for a few days. Okay. So this is super cute. So this is a little, I'm trying not to shake the table. Sorry guys. A uh, little tin here of verse cards. These are so adorable. Love these. So these I believe are two by three. Yep. Two by three. Oh, do you hear the word woodpecker? I think I heard chipmunks out here earlier. Okay. So you have this one title card with word, just blank on the back. And then they've got kind of a mix of verses. So really great. If you really love that take four, focusing in on those four verses and you go through it super quick and you've still got some time and you want to continue on with that momentum that you have, these would be great to pick up and do something similar. Do that process that she has of um, reading, meditation, prayer, response, contemplation with these verses. So 2 Timothy 3, 16 through 17, equipped for every good work. Awana people, you know this one, right? <laughs> you've got the birds. So you've got a mix of imagery. So you could type out your own verse or write out your own verse, stamp things on there. Use those as little journaling spots. Oh, I love the typewriter with the flowers. They are so, so pretty. And then you've got different, I love that they're, you know, different orientations typed out on there. Really, really great little set of cards. Um, really good to have on the go. Maybe you just want to jot a note to somebody. Maybe they need, you know, some encouragement. Maybe there's a verse in here that you think, you know, just would be great for somebody that, you know, is having a moment and just needs some scripture. Write a little note on the back, pass it along to them. So really great to be using in your Bible, but also for outside of your Bible as well. So those are little verse cards in this adorable little tin. There are lots of tutorials out there for these tins. And I know Christy Beasley, um, she has a really beautiful art, totally different style than Ingrid's, but she does really fun distressed tins. Um, so maybe search out Christy Beasley and see one of her videos about how she, like she paints it and distresses it and uses um, Ranger products to distress them. And they're super cute. So if you wanted to customize that, you could. All right, so you may have noticed there are no die cuts in the uh, kit itself. So you get to add those on. This is giving me anxiety because usually I like carefully cut it, but we're on the fly, guys. I'm doing this for you. <laughs> so there is your little set of die cuts. And again, I love hers for a multitude of reasons. They're cut up right to the edge, so there's no border to them. I love that. And these florals are so great for just tucking behind clusters. They are cardstock, mixing and matching with past kits. These are just so good. So again, if you do the digitals, you can then print and cut those um, and create more ephemera pieces if you want to, but so, so pretty. Can you tell I have running on like three hours of sleep. I'm like shaky and <laughs> retreat life, right? All of you retreat girls know you just don't sleep. You eat all the things that you're not used to. You stay up way too late. You have no voice when you come home, but it was so worth it, right? <laughs> okay, I'm going to try not to let those blow away. Next up, we have some tickets. So we did see these through the Beautiful series. Um, she did tickets and Polaroids. This month, there are just tickets. Um, if you're like me, you probably have some leftover Polaroids. So pull those out. You can use those, kind of mix and match with this kit as well. But there are some new tickets. Now, these are just straight um cut as rectangles so you can use them as is or you could go in and maybe use you know pinking shears or different things like that and add details if you wanted to so I actually kind of like that she leaves them like this so you can customize it and do what you want um, with these but these are just cardstock not coded so you can you know run these through your typewriter type things out these are just great for adding little verses little prayers titles I've used them as layering bits tabs you know all kinds of things that you can do um, with these. I love the DNA strand. Oh, and the birds. I know. I always get some comments. Some people don't love birds. I love birds. I think they're great. So those are the, the word of God, uh, tickets. This I'm so excited about. So she did a stencil this month. I'm like hunched over this little table and then I'm like dying guys. We're, we're going to get through it. Okay. How beautiful first off is the packaging. Like I'm going to use that card. She left it blank on the back. So you could use the card as a journaling place, but this stencil. So the word of God is alive and active. The word of God is at work in who you believe. 
in you who believe, sorry. The word of God is at work in you who believe. In this really fun stencil font. Great, great. I, so stencils, I'm picky. I like these a little bit thinner, not too thin, but a little bit thinner because if you are working in your Bible, you'll know there's a little bit of a curvature to the page, right? And so when you're stenciling, if it's too stiff of a stencil, it's hard to get a really crisp stenciled image. So with this, because it's flexible, you're able to keep it, you know, right up against the page and get really nice um, stenciling. I've already seen some of the girls um, on the team using this and I cannot wait to get back into this room, pull out my paints and do some stenciling because it is just really nice, bold graphic um, stencil imagery. I love this, but you could also use more muted tones. So I brought with me like Kitsch Flamingo, Spun Sugar, some of those lighter pinks from the Tim Holtz line of colors. And so you could also use, you know, Spun Sugar or um, Kitsch Flamingo and do a lighter version of this, like as a background texture, or you can go in real bold with, you know, um, ground espresso, black soot, uh, scorched timber, one of those darker colors and really have a bold graphic image on your page. So I cannot wait to use this. And also if you're super creative, you could kind of mix and match and pick out words and kind of line things and create your own phrases out of the words that are here, or even just the individual letters. So don't be afraid to, you know, pull out some maybe washi tape. We'll talk about that to kind of mask off areas and then use, you know, the individual letters who obviously don't have the whole alphabet, but I'm sure you guys are creative and could come up with some additional words. This here is the add-on. I haven't even opened this yet. I think these are more stickers. Yes. Oh boy, there's all kinds of fun stickers in here. Okay, so this is the add-on, a live and active add-on, I think is what it is. So you've got some stamp-sized stickers. So some of these things you've seen similar from Ingrid. I bet these are circles. Yeah, so some circle shapes. These are great for if you're like working in your growth journal um, or, you know, something like that and you're just wanting to, you know, have a little anchor spot, stamp out a title, write out a title or just as bullet points kind of in your note taking. That's how I utilize these. Um, but you could also apply them to cardstock. They are stickers, but you could put them on cardstock and use them, you know, as tabs or things like that. So a variety of different ways that you can use these. I love the postage stamps. These are more circles. So like I said, you get to mix and match. If you don't like stamps, there's plenty of things on here in the stickers where you don't even ever have to stamp. These are so awesome. I love these for just layering. I just kind of layer these as additional textures um, behind things kind of peeking out. These are really great. So I am just dumbfounded by how much artwork she's able to accomplish. I'm like rushing to get the little bit of stuff that I had to do for this last semester. I don't know how she, how she does this. Love, love all of the textures and the details. Can't say enough amazing things. So here is the sticker add-on. I think we are going to come sliding into home base with this one here, guys. It is, it is a rush. Okay. Last but not least, we have the washi tapes and there is no shortage of washi tapes this time. We've got what? Three six, seven, eight different washi rolls. I don't have these pre-opened. Normally I open these up and like stretch them out so you can see the pattern, but um, seek what is above, Grace. So this is similar to one of the mixed media ones that she did with the beautiful series, but it's different, you know, different design, different phrases. But if you really liked that, you know, kind of distressed notebook style, ooh, I love you, love that. And if I know her well, there's actually quite a bit of um, design before it repeats on her rolls and her washi is really nice. This is going to be a favorite of mine. I know the sun is starting to come in, but it is white with the distressed black crosses. Really nice, bold graphic. I was talking about the washies with some of the ladies this morning. They were so excited to see the kit, so I'm going to rush in and let them see it. But we were talking specifically about Open Journey's washi tapes and how much we love them because they're great for layering and mixed media. If you have tried to work with some of the washi tapes, like let's say from Hobby Lobby, you know, where it's very like equally spaced out, perfect design. It's a little bit harder to use those in a more organic, natural way. Whereas hers, because the designs 
first off, have some mixed media to them already, but she also takes the design right out to the edge. You know, these are going off the edge. Um, so you're not having that harsh line on your pages when you're trying to create. If that's your style, there's plenty of washi tapes out there for you. You can definitely do that. I like my washi tape to kind of blend in and just be another layer. I don't want it to be obvious that it's a tape stuck on the page. That's just me personally. So I really love, you know, just the way that her washi tapes are designed. It makes it very easy to incorporate into um, backgrounds and things like that. Uh, let's see here. This Psalm. It says Psalm and oh, and then you can write in which Psalm that you're studying. Oh, this is awesome with little olives, olive branches. I've learned to read Ingrid, Ingrid's handwriting. I do believe that says Psalm and then you can write in the Psalm number. Oh my gosh, Ingrid. See, I haven't even looked. I literally threw this in my bag and then left my house. So I have not looked at it all. Um, this, oh, this is fun with like the teal little art marks. Jesus. I'm going to have to open this one so we can see what it says. Um, these are kind of more the standard washi width, um, but she does have some wider tapes as well. I'm sure you guys can tell from the sun. We are like, I think there's like one finger <laughs> between the sun and the mountain that I can see. We are so close to the sun setting. Okay. Jesus, I trust in you. There you go. So you can see, I mean, that all of that and the pattern is not repeated until right here. So that's all one unique pattern right there. So like I said, it's really, really nice. It's not just, you know, a small amount repeated over and over and over. I think that was just a bee that flew by. Um, okay, we'll have to fix that later. But moving right along, this one is kind of that tile imagery that we saw in the beautiful series, but it is a little bit different. I'm noticing some different patterns, different colors, kind of more suited to the color palette of this series, um, which is a lot more of that like picked raspberry kind of pink, um, kind of a pinky red is in there. But I love those like Moroccan style uh, tiles on there. This one here, word of God. So obviously this is, you know, kind of geared to match this kit. I don't know that I would be able to choose just one or two. I really literally need all of them. Um, this is that verse from Isaiah 48, the grass withers, the flowers fall, but the word of our God endures forever. So these are wider washies. So. Standard washi, about three quarters of an inch. These are one and a half inches. So tr this is double the width of um, a traditional roll of washi tape. So uh, we've got, ooh, proclaim the word. The word, I bet this is the word of God underneath there. Sorry, I'm not in frame. Um, it's got some scripture on there, hand lettering. So really, really great for mixed media um, backgrounds. And then this one here, this is probably one of my favorites the type print and then Isaiah 48. Did I already show you? I mean, I've already shown you that. And then it even has a little bit of that distress. So I will try to show these in more detail as I use them and do the pages. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try to do some videos now that school is done and over with. Praise God. All A's and a B. I able to just eke it out. <laughs> It was a little sketchy there towards the end, but we got there. So there is a look at the newest release from Open Journey. This is the Take 4 Word of God release. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below for me. I will be checking those. I do have service, and I'll be checking those, of course, while I'm on my layover. So we can chit-chat while I'm flying home. Um, all the links will be down below for you guys. If you have any questions, like I said, leave those down below. I'll try to answer them. I know I'm kind of doing this on the fly. I didn't read all of the updates for this release, so there may be some errors. I'll try to update those in the um, description box so for you guys but um also you can always reach out to Ingrid she's super super helpful um and would love to answer your questions so you can check out those links give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it thanks for hanging with me make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and I this is it's like almost perfect you're gonna get a little view of what I have been watching the entire time we've been filming do you see why I'm so antsy to like get in and play with the ladies I mean it's just absolutely beautiful. Couldn't ask for a better setup as we take a look at the newest release from Open Journey. Until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.